Last night, my uncle sent me a text asking me to help his moving crew with an important job. Only people we can trust, it said. Short notice, so you'll get a bonus. You in? Sure. The first half of the job was simple. We went to a four-bedroom on the snobby side of town and moved some expensive furniture into the trucks. Everyone there had been working for my uncle since they started the company, all trusted guys who could be discreet. The weirdness started when we were getting ready to bring the first haul into the new place. My uncle handed me a reusable grocery bag. Gotta wear this over your head. They don't want anyone to know where they live. I scoffed. What? Are we going to a witness protection or something? The opposite, he said. Now put the bag on. Without further complaint, I did. After a long drive, my uncle poked my shoulder. Take the bag off. We're here. I removed the bag and realized we were on the dirt road, surrounded by trees. I couldn't see anything in the distance that I recognized. No skyscrapers, no towers, not even Mount Hood. Damn, we're in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? That's the entire point, my uncle said. Now let's get to work. I looked ahead and saw only the end of the dirt road. Where? My uncle stepped forward, moving on the ground every few steps until we heard a metal clang. He got on one knee, brushed the dirt aside, and uncovered the handle for a set of double doors. This is really heavy. Help me open it. We raised the first door together, and I realized that it was covering a darkened staircase. <laughs> Fuck me, it's a bomb shelter. Doomsday shelter, my uncle corrected, setting the door down. <laughs> Same thing. I argued, grabbing my side of the second door. No, a bomb shelter is for bombs. A doomsday shelter is for the end of the world. Now shut up and help me with this. Whatever, I grumbled, pulling up the second door. I expected the shelter to be tiny, maybe even a couple of rooms. Instead, we found complex large rooms decorated with black banners of roses. As we carried the furniture down the hallways, we passed windows to other people's houses, all completely furnished and ready for people to move in. The client's house was empty. We arrived and we started unloading all of their belongings into it. As I brought a box full of a little girl's clothes into one of the rooms, I looked back and I realized something. Uh, hey, uncle, where are the owners? Are they moving in? Most of them don't know we're doing this. I stopped in my tracks. What the fuck does that mean? We're moving all of their stuff. My uncle sighed. Like I told you, this is a doomsday shelter for the fortunate to survive the end of the world. That reminds me, pack your things tonight. 